events or steps in respiration. Click each tab to know more. Let us learn how the exchange of gases takes place from alveoli to capillaries. The exchange of gases takes place within the lungs by diffusion from the alveoli to blood capillaries and vice versa. In the alveoli, the carbon dioxide present in the blood is exchanged with oxygen. The lungs consist of many tiny air sacs and one cell thick. These are surrounded by capillaries. The dark red color blood flows from the heart through these capillaries. At this time, the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place in the blood. That is, the oxygen is collected from the alveoli and the carbon dioxide flows out of the capillaries into the alveoli. When we breathe out, the carbon dioxide passes out into the atmosphere. The bright red oxygen blood is returned to the heart and pumped out to the body. As a result of gaseous exchange, the percentage composition of inhaled and exhaled air is different. Now, let us observe the chart for the difference in percentage of gases when the air is inhaled and exhaled. From the chart, it is observed that there is a difference in the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide when inhaled and exhaled. Let us learn the reason for this in further concepts. We know that air is a mixture of gases. It enters into our body up to the lungs and alveoli. The relative amount of gases and their combining capacity with hemoglobin and other substances in blood determine their transport via blood in the body. When oxygen present in the air which we inhale is within normal limits, say around 21%, then almost all of it is carried in the blood by combining with hemoglobin. A protein same as that of chlorophyll is present in the red blood cells. The only major difference being iron is present in place of magnesium. As oxygen is diffused into the blood, it rapidly combines with the hemoglobin to form oxyhemoglobin. The hemoglobin not only combines with oxygen, but the reverse process can also happen to yield a molecule of hemoglobin and oxygen. The carbon dioxide present in air which we inhale is generally transported as a bicarbonate while some amount of it combines with hemoglobin and the remaining amount dissolves in blood plasma. Let us learn how exchange of gases takes place in tissue level. Hemoglobin meets a different environment in the capillaries over the tissues. The tissue cells use oxygen continuously because of which the concentration of oxygen decreases. It might be only one third part of that present in the lungs. As the concentration of oxygen is low, oxyhemoglobin releases an oxygen molecule which enters the cells. The reactions that occur within the cells in our body are carbon dioxide and water are produced and the energy is released. This energy is used for different purposes. The cells expel them into blood capillaries. The term cellular respiration refers to the pathway by which cells release energy from the chemical bonds of food molecules. This energy is used for body functioning. All living cells carry cellular respiration whether it may be in the presence of oxygen, aerobic respiration or in the absence of oxygen. 
एनाएरोबिक रिस्पिरेशन और फर्मेंटेशन सेल्यूलर रिस्पिरेशन इन प्रोकैरियोटिक सेल्स लाइक बैक्टीरिया अकर्स विद इन द साइटोप्लाज्म इन यूकैरियोटिक सेल्स सेल्यूलर रिस्पिरेशन अकर्स इन बोथ द साइटोप्लाज्म एंड माइटोकांड्रिया A series of chemical reactions takes place with release of energy when a sugar molecule breaks down. Each small parcel of chemical energy that is formed when the sugar is break down is stored in a special compound called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. ATP is an energy rich compound that is capable of carrying energy whenever required in the cell. Each ATP molecule provides 7200 calories of energy. This energy is stored in the form of phosphate bonds. The energy stored get released when the phosphate bond breaks up. Justify whether cells of alveoli or lungs also need oxygen in order to carry out cellular respiration. Let us observe the pathway for cellular level starting from glucose. 